Today we're sauteing mustard greens with sweet peppers and onions. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Sugar With Tea. Today we are in the kitchen and we are cooking up some mustard greens. I'm so excited to show you guys this recipe because I had so much fun creating in the kitchen. Here I am starting out with some pure 100% butter and I am melting that in the pan. If you are vegan, of course you can substitute this with some vegan butter or some type of fat or oil of your choice but butter adds flavor and this is a plant-based recipe so I am using butter I'm just letting the butter melt and I'm making sure that it coats the pan making sure that it, the entire pan is covered with butter next I am going in with minced garlic if you have fresh garlic absolutely use fresh garlic fresh ingredients are always best and they make your food taste better but I'm using what I have in my pantry so I'm going in with minced garlic now I'm adding some diced onions and sweet peppers you know the thing about sweet peppers is that I notice the yellow orange and red pepper has a slight difference in them it seems like the darker the pepper the sweeter it is today I am using an orange pepper and that's going to give my dish the sweetness that I'm looking for. We're just going to saute these vegetables until they are translucent. Tossing them around, making sure that they're coated with the butter and that they are cooking down. The next thing that I did is I added seasoning to my pot. I'm going to go in with some cracked black pepper and then we're going to sprinkle on some garlic powder, some cayenne, some sweet paprika, I'm sorry, smoked paprika. And here I'm just stirring the vegetables making sure that they get coated with all of the seasonings I just sprinkled on. As you can see the vegetables are beginning to turn translucent, translucent. and now I'm going in with my greens. So here's the thing with greens if you've ever cooked greens before you know that they whittle down to nothing. This seems like a lot of greens, but when we are done, it will be nothing. <laughs> this is enough greens for one person. And now I'm just adding the same seasonings that I added to my vegetables. I'm adding them to the greens. You have to layer. Don't ever add anything to your pot unless you add more seasonings. If you noticed, I have not sprinkled any salt in this dish because we don't need it. The seasoning, the spices that I am adding to this dish is going to be sufficient. If you decide that you want to add salt, go for it. But I'm trying to cut down on sodium in my diet 
and I make I add so many seasonings because that helps with the flavor and when this is all done you won't even notice the salt if you decide later you taste you try this recipe and you taste it you can add salt while it's in the plate while it's on your plate next I'm going in with some water just enough water to cover the bottom because what we're going to do next is we're going to steam these greens and we are going to cook everything down together so that the spices can absorb into the greens. Greens are bitter and we want to make sure that the flavor is absorbed by the greens. I covered the pot and cooked them down. It's now 10 minutes later and as you can see the greens are non-existent. <laughs> they cook down to nothing. As I said before this is just enough greens for one person. Here I am tasting the greens to see if it needs anything and after tasting I decided that it was kind of bitter it was still bitter so I need something I need something to make these greens taste better so I went in with some powdered ginger again if you have fresh ginger use that don't use much cut maybe one or two slithers and add it to your pan but I had powdered ginger so that's what I used and now I am using honey this is 100% raw local honey um, it's crystallized which is why I'm having such a hard time getting it out there if you have 100% uh, raw honey it will crystallize it's not bad it's still good just place your jar on the stove so that you can melt the honey and you can get it out easier if you want the complete recipe for this you can go to sugarwithtea.com I'll list a link below and you can get the exact recipe and measurements there the last thing that I am adding to this dish is a lime the juice of a lime and guys this just made everything perfect it was the last ingredient that I needed to make this dish spectacular here I am covering the pot and I want everything that I just added to be absorbed by the greens so I cooked it down for 10 more minutes and this is our finished product And here it is after I plated it I got a shot of it I had to do that quickly because y'all my kitchen smelled so good I was so ready to eat this dish it's not only beautiful it is extraordinary <laughs> it is so flavorful it is just it was so good here I am tasting it and y'all that's my happy dance this dish like I said before it was just extraordinary it was it was so good so there you have it sauteed mustard greens with sweet peppers and onions this was so delicious I hope you enjoyed this recipe and I want you to come back because we are going to be cooking up some really delicious meals plant-based meals so stay tuned for that I'll see you next time bye <music>